After years of construction and millions of dollars, the new performing arts building is finally open for business. Beginning in May, the popular music service Pandora will raise its subscription price to $4.99 per month. Over in El Paso in the west, it's getting to those summer temperatures, while meanwhile in the east, thankfully, Dallas, Austin, Houston stay in the mid-70s. Microsoft Office will finally be available for iPad users on March 27th. On February 27th, Texas State finally pulled back the curtain on the new $40 million Performing Arts Center. Located on the corner of University Drive and Moon Street, the center comes in at just over 69,000 square feet. After years of construction and millions of dollars, the new Performing Arts Building is finally open for business. And already, Texas State students and teachers alike are using it to its full potential. Across the street from the original Texas State Theater building, the center will host all future theater, dance, and music events by Texas State. They're able to express themselves in a um, top-notch facility. Uh, sometimes there are things that you can't really do in other facilities that now we can here. Uh, and I think we can take advantage of those things, which is really cool. The center includes classrooms, rehearsal studios, faculty offices, and most importantly, performance stages. Having a new building doesn't mean the theater department will abandon the older facility. The familiar round building will continue to be used, though it's clear that the new structure will offer many enhancements. The classrooms are really nice. It's really um, an intimate setting, and, and I like that for, for uh, some of the smaller classes. The premiere production in the new Performing Arts Center will be Cole Porter's musical Anything Goes, starting April 7th. For Bobcat Update, I'm Zach Harrow. Walking down to the square isn't as easy anymore. Entire sidewalks are closed off and there's construction in every direction. Students find it more challenging to reach some local stores. When the switch over happens and they start working construction on our end of the street, it'll probably, you know, hinder us a little bit just because we'll be so hidden from your general view on the street. Many local businesses are using this time to focus on other concerns. I try to just stay active on the social network sites, try to do little sales here and there to drive in traffic. Even with all the construction downtown, San Martians still seem to be coming out and supporting local businesses. Construction in the San Marcos area is projected to complete in the summer of 2015. I think that they're going to beautify the downtown. I think a lot of new great businesses are coming in and with, you know, better sidewalks and better parking and everything, I think it'll become more of a little destination. It'll be good in the end. Right now we're just suffering through the, the process. For Bobcat Update, I'm Zach Harrow. The Fort Hood building, where an army psychiatrist shot and killed 13 people five years ago, has been demolished. Another 32 people were wounded in the attack. Major Nadal Hassan was convicted and sentenced last August. Fort Hood officials now plan to install a gazebo and plant trees where the building once stood. Also, a plaque to honor the victims of the shootings will be placed at the site. For the first time in history, 20-somethings are watching TV shows and movies on their computers, smartphones, and tablets more than they do on their actual TVs. The new study from Deloitte also confirmed that the number of modern devices equipped to watch TV have eclipsed actual television sets in the average home. Nielsen, the company in charge of all ratings for television, announced plans to incorporate mobile viewers into its traditional ratings for the upcoming television season.